Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna cook another meal. This time we're gonna do a, a beef, ground beef and cabbage. And I think Shelly's gonna take the lead on this one. I am? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but before we can get going in the kitchen, like any farm, the animals have to eat first. So why don't y'all come with us and we'll do morning rounds and then we'll come back to the kitchen. It's cold. There's some little bit of water down in there. Pour some more on top. One of the things Greg Judy told us when we bought this from him was to make sure to keep a five gallon bucket or something over the winch here so that it doesn't freeze up on us. Yeah, the other day we wouldn't have been able to get it to do hay at all.
Okay, so we're back from rounds and I want to go ahead and just talk about the ingredients that I pulled out of the refrigerator first. I kind of just doing this on the fly guys. So you can do this too. We have a head of cabbage, two pounds of ground beef, some sour cream. I'm going to put a little Parmesan cheese in it. It's got a nice flavor and it's kind of salty. I love to use some Worcestershire sauce. I'm not going to use much because it does have some carbs in it. So you're just going to want to use a little bit of that for flavor. Definitely minced garlic and salt and pepper to taste. In this dish, I like to put quite a bit of pepper because it's gonna have a bit of a stroganoff flair, but not actually stroganoff because Michaela doesn't really appreciate um, the mushrooms in it. So I'm gonna withhold those, make everything else really nice and beefy. But my cabbage over here, this is my noodles. I'm gonna just cut them into strips and steam it in the microwave first to help me with the cooking process because today's Thursday, it's a really busy day for us and I wanna make sure that we eat something good before we have to go run into town and stuff. So, okay, let's get cooking. Just like always, I'm gonna start this with uh, some lard. Oh yeah, of course. And we'll start with some. Some? Yeah. Okay, good. Some's good. Some a lot. Yeah. Cause our beef is pretty lean. Very lean. Yeah. yeah. So I got quite a bit. Okay, good. Head. So honestly, you have about three tablespoons in there. Okay, then I'll add some more. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now that's some more. Okay, that's plenty now. Well, it's almost empty. Oh, I see what you're doing. Now it's empty. Going to medium heat. Okay. And I'm just gonna chop this cabbage up and get it ready to go into the microwave. Give it a little steam because that's gonna speed up my cooking process here. Big chunks too, because I'm making them, I want it to be kind of like my egg noodles. So yeah, you the, know? the size. Yeah, do it like a you noodle. You end up like a, basically the same width as a cooked egg noodle. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, so like a, you know, a, almost like a one incher. But please don't overthink this. <laughs> Just chop up the cabbage. Yeah. Home cooking is so that we can eat. Not, I mean, if we wanna make gourmet, that's fine. But all in all, what we need is some home cooked, healthy food. Right. Keep it simple, keep it simple. And I'm not talking about going through the drive through simple. <laughs> no. Although there was snow and ice on the ground, the pigs looked warm. Oh yeah, they had, but coming out of their hut, they were just like steaming. Yeah. <laughs> All the waters were frozen though. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm ready for there to not be ice. Well, I know. The water. Yeah. So I have all this chopped up in my bowl. That's a half a head of cabbage. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of water in it, put a plate on top of it, throw it in the microwave for about five minutes. Let me move it over here, actually. Okay. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of garlic. This is just store-bought minced garlic. Couple of tablespoons, bro. Yeah. That's like a quarter cup. This was two tablespoons. Uh-huh. You use garlic like you use vanilla. You saw that it was a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. One good thing about having garden chickens, we can just take all of these scraps and throw it out into the garden and feed the chickens. So you did get to see the garden 
with the chickens in it right now. They're hanging out for the winter and scratching through all of the stuff that was left over in the garden. Yeah, they're they're very happy chickens these oh, days. Yeah. Okay, that's smelling right. Garlic. So when that's nice and happy, not the cow happy, <laughs> food happy. We're just gonna throw this ground beef in there and just start browning it up. Yeah. Are we, we close? We did get to see happy this morning. Yeah, we did. Get the drink. I'm waiting for the garlic to just get golden brown. Mm. I'd say we're close enough. Okay. Okay, two pounds of ground beef. Going in. There we are. And we'll just start chopping it up. I'm gonna give this back over to you so I can throw this away and wash my hands. Oh, okay. It's looking good. So while we're waiting on this hamburger to get brown, one of the biggest concerns farming that we have this time of year is the water. This last week, oh my gosh, it has been... Yeah, our, lows, the, our lows were down below zero and then it stayed below freezing for days. Yeah, and so even our frost-free waterers that we have, that you, you see the blue balls that keep everything supposedly from freezing or even freezing. A couple of them that we have in some bottom pastures, we have, we're in the hills here. Uh, some of them we have in the bottom pasture were comp are completely frozen. It's been so cold that the things that are not supposed to freeze have in fact frozen solid. Yeah. So we're just having to carry water to the pigs. We're having to carry water to the smaller animals and making sure also that the, like the lambs, making sure that they can access water because they're not quite tall enough. The shorter, shorter ones. Luckily the spigot on the side of the house was thawed today. So we were able yeah, to use a hose good. to get some water to the mm -hmm. birds. Well, the ducks really appreciate that. Yeah. They don't mind the cold. No, no. And everyone has a shelter. Like they have shelter and they get underneath the shelter when they want to. I saw a bunch of them underneath their little duck house maybe yesterday. Yeah. But a lot of times they're just sitting out on the ice. Like they don't even care. Yeah. This is the guardian dog's favorite time of year. Big time. They love it. They, they'll find shade. It'll be a doubt. 12 degrees outside. If it gets into the 20s, they're finding shade. They're finding shade. So your beef is pretty bare browned. Okay, good. All right. Let's start adding some spices. Let's add our sour cream, some Worcestershire sauce, and we may even have to add some cream to it okay. to get it creamier. Okay. So I'm just going to add, oh no, not over to me. This is a <laughs> team job, sir. A little bit of that. So that was maybe a couple of tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Um, I like this just for the flavor. It helps thicken it a little bit too. Oh, does it? Yeah. Maybe that's why I like it. Okay. That was probably, let's just go with like, what? Quarter, quarter cup. cup. Quarter cup of that. We'll say, Teaspoon of pepper. A teaspoon of black pepper. I'll probably add more to my plate. And a teaspoon of salt. Salt and pepper to taste on everything that we cook, you guys. And give that a whirl. Now the main ingredient that's fixed is gonna shine here in just a second. It's sitting right over here. It makes this dish to me. Sour cream. Okay. Let's go with two cups. So it would be probably one of the medium size or 16 ounce sour cream. This is just a big tub, so I'm having to sort of guess it. So one container, 16 ounce, I think would be a good amount. All right, I'm gonna start stirring this in. 
and I may even go after some more of it. All right, get happy in there. Now remember, we want everything to be full fat. Full fat sour cream. Don't be putting, this is keto friendly. We gotta get our fats up. So don't be putting no fat free sour cream in this stuff, y'all. Oh, that's looking good. I would prefer it, and Rich would prefer it if the mushrooms were in this dish. When we make it just for ourselves, it would have a lot of portobello, a whole, probably a whole container of portobello mushrooms in it. But Michaela doesn't like them, so we're gonna go a little plainsy today. We can do plainsy every now and then. That's right. Do you want this strained? Yeah, strain it a little bit. Okay. I don't want that water in here. So this is good and combined. This is a very fast dish. We can make this in probably 20 minutes. The thing that takes the longest is brown in the hamburger. Again, this is kind of akin to a hamburger helper style meal. It's really fast, heat it up, heat and eat. Here's your cabbage. Yeah. Our cabbage is nice and steamed. I think it ran about 10 minutes in the microwave. We're gonna add our noodles, toss them in there, and then just fold them in. This is almost ready. Cabbage is one of our favorite, really versatile vegetables that we, that we eat because it's really low in carb, nice filler. You can make it into a whole lot of different things. How's that look? Looks great. Okay, cool. All right, I'm gonna turn it down and stick the lid on it for a minute. Although it, everything is cooked, it's ready. I'm just gonna let it get happy. All right, I think we're looking pretty good here. So it is a pot of beef, cabbage, stroganoff flavor. Are you hungry? I am. Good warm on these cold days like this. Mm. It'll warm up your insides. Another warm meal. Keto. Super easy. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's try. try. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. It might need more salt, y'all. Mm. Nope. That's good. It's warm. That's really good. I think the surprising thing to me is that you like there's no strong flavor from the cabbage. No, there's not hardly any cabbage flavor. It just tastes really good. You really get the beef. Yeah. Um, I think I would put a dollop of sour cream on top. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah. Okay, I think I'll do that. <laughs> Thank you guys right. for joining us again. If you are enjoying our videos, please make sure to subscribe and like, and maybe even share it with your friends and family on your social media. We love sharing these things with you guys. Uh, and especially the comments. Yeah. Really enjoy engaging and seeing how these things turn out for you. And until next time, bye y'all. Bye y'all.